welcome back to Little Cricket Crafts. Today we are taking our Dollar Tree find, the wooden arrow with the burlap string. We are going to paint this with my acrylic black paint from the Dollar Tree as well. Then we're gonna hop on Cricut Design Space and make a cute decal for it and make this cute custom DIY hanging arrow sign. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is start a new project in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to click text and type what I want to type. I'm going to type farm fresh. I'm going to move it up and I'm going to pick the font that I want. I downloaded my font a while ago from dafont.com. They're all free fonts and they're awesome. So I changed my font to the one I wanted. Now I've ungrouped all of my letters and I'm gonna individually move them to how I want them. So I forgot to show this part, but once I have my letters all together, I'm gonna highlight each word, so farm first. And then I'm gonna go up to the top toolbar and hit align and I'm gonna select align bottom. Then after that, I'm going to highlight the word again, and I'm actually going to hit weld at the bottom right hand side. This is going to ensure that my decal comes out as one and doesn't have any cuts in between letters. Once my two individual words, farm and fresh, are grouped together, I am going to move them to the space I want them apart, highlight both words, and hit group at the top right hand side. Now I know I can print and cut this the way that it is already spaced so I can put it straight onto my object. Then I'm going back over to the text. I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna type my next text for my decal. So for this one, milk and eggs, I'm actually gonna have a different font that goes well with the first one, but it's gonna look a little bit different. I'm trying to have a farmhouse look, so I kind of have something in my head and that is the awesome part of Cricut. We can do whatever we want with our designs. So I've changed the font and now I ungrouped each letter and I highlighted each word, milk and then eggs and then and, and grouped them as one word. Now I can arrange them how I want them next to the farm fresh. Now I'm going over to the left toolbar and hitting shapes. I'm actually gonna add a circle but unlock it at the bottom left corner when you click on the circle to make it an oval shape. I am gonna put this behind the and just to give it a little extra look on the decal. Once I have my words and oval where I want them, I'm going to highlight everything and group it together. Once I have it the size I want compared to my object I'm putting it on, I have already measured, I'm going to ungroup and separate the oval from the actual words uh, on the decal because they're going to be put on in a layered style. If I hit make it in the top right hand corner, it's going to give me two different color mats because my oval was a different color than my words. I'm going to go to the oval mat, which is on a gray mat, and I'm going to click the three dots in the left hand corner of the object, and I'm going to hit move object. I'm gonna move it to my black mat so that I can just cut out vinyls on one mat and do only one cutting. Now it's time for the Cricut to go to work and cut out our decal. <laughs> 